What's up guys, Fat Blood Whale here with another part of Dragon Age Origins. Last time we met Sten, we got Leliana, and now we're on our way to go get Sten. <sighs> Let's get on with it. Again, I'll be doing the uh, Channers board very, very soon. All right, here is Sten. You wish something more of me. I have the key to open your cage. I confess, I did not think the priestess would part with it. She agreed to release you into my custody. So be it. Set me free, and I will follow you against the blight. Against the blight. Very well. I'll let you out. And so it is done. I will follow you into battle. In doing so, I shall find my atonement. Uh, I guess I will do. May we proceed. I am eager to be elsewhere. Yep. He will not be using Sten ever. Or if we do, it's going to be very rare when we use him. Not a big Sten fan. Alright, now our plan of action is going to go uh, look at these quests. And then I'm going to go do them. And then... Then we will come back. All right. Wow. There's only one quest here right now. All right. Well, that's the first quest. Uh, as you can see, it was killing bandits. Until then, I will see you guys in like. Uh, we are back from that quest. Actually, I'm gonna do some more here. But first, I'm gonna show you what we got from that. We got. This is just new armor, uh, new sword for the, for uh, my character. Uh, Alistair got he got a helmet. That's about it, cause he can't wear the armor that my character's wearing yet. Otherwise, it would have gone to him. Are these the next group of quests? One bear's attack, and the last keepsake. Not really sure what that's about. Um. So yeah, accept those, and you're gonna be heading out to do those, and then I will be back. Okay, and we're back again. Uh, I haven't looked at what we got so far. We got some gold, which is nice. Um, all right, yeah, we we get the sword for Alice, Alistair. So we're gonna give him that. Get rid of this. All right, and we're good. I'm going to actually. I used up some potions doing that. Um, so I'm. I think I'm gonna go buy some potions, and then we will continue. Alright, and we're back and we're ready to go. Just got some potions. And so we're going to be heading up this way on this kind of road that got cut off over there before you came down to the village. I don't think it cut off. We got off of it. Um, oh, actually, it looks like we're being ambushed. I don't know if you killed King Kalen and make her forgive me. I don't care. But that bounty on your head could feed a lot of hungry bellies. Attack! Well, he's screwed. And my character's still pretty, pretty useless at this point. I'm just kind of slow. I'm just here. Um. Yeah. Once, once I get more powerful, once my attacks start becoming stronger, when I hit, it'll be better. Because like right now, the amount of attacks Alistair can take or can do. Uh, and the amount of time I do one is like equal to, if not more, than the amount of damage I can do. So. Oh, those gloves, actually, gonna give those to Eliana. Alright. I'm actually gonna grab these. This elf root over here. Oh, yeah, I also sold. I sold all of the uh, crafting stuff out of my inventory. Also, because I'm not going to be doing any of that. What is going on up there? Herlock, dark spawn. All right, no biggie, no biggie. That's a pull, but no biggie. We got this. Away with you, foul creatures! Leave us alone. Assuming Alistair gets up here to protect me in time. Oh, 
I have no idea. Oh, it's probably not right there. Okay. Well, I was just all the way down there. Wow. How useless. Oh, well, Alistair can get attacked by those guys over there. I'm gonna deal with these guys. Hopefully. Yeah, I don't have to use a potion on Alistair. Actually, I'm gonna have to. God damn it. Alright, no biggie. No biggie. Alistair's kind of... It's not very, not very strong right now. Enemies are just cutting through his armor like it's nothing. Which hopefully I will... No, go away. Nothing, go away. Never mind. Alright. Blood Mage. Herlock. Alright. Mighty timely arrival there, my friend. I'm much obliged. Hello, you're welcome. Name's Bodon Fedek, merchant and entrepreneur. This here is my son, Sam. Say hello, my boy. Hello. Road's been mighty Yo. dangerous these days. Mind if I ask what brings you out here? Perhaps we're going the same way. It's a bit complicated, but you're welcome to come along. Complicated? <laughs> Somehow I imagine that only says a half of it. Thank you for the offer. There may be more excitement on your path than is good for my boy and me. Allow me to bid you farewell and good fortune. Goodbye. Now Bye. Then, let's get this mess cleaned up, shall we? Yes, we shall. Alright. We're going to be heading to camp. Don't mind me having a seizure in my sleep. It's cool. Bad dreams, huh? Must have been something I ate. Drank more like, as in the tainted blood, remember? You see, part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the Darkspawn. That's what your dream was, hearing them. The Archdemon, it talks to the Horde. And we feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a blight. Why didn't Duncan just tell everyone that? He God damn. Did. He said he felt the Archdemon's presence. Everyone just assumed he was guessing. It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me, too. I'm not scared. Well, uh, thank you. That's what I'm here for. To deliver unpleasant news and witty one-liners. Anyhow, you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. Alright, now before we move onwards. First, we're going to... I suppose we can talk to these guys ah, over here. It's good to see you, my timely rescuer. Bodon Fett, that's your Lots of stuff we have to do at camp, though. I saw your camp and remember the kind offer that you made the last time we met. And is there anywhere safer for a poor merchant and his son to sleep? I think not. I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence. How does that sound? Good? Yes? Sounds great. All right, you're free to say. Just mind yourselves. Wonderful. Thank the gentleman, won't you, boy? Thank you, sir. We won't be a bother to you and your companions, I assure you. You should need enchantments. Simply talk to my boy. Otherwise, come speak with me. Yes, enchanting we're not going to do much with right now. Hello. Um, the boy's a bit apparently simple, there's a quest here. He's rather good with enchantments. One of those tranquil fellas actually called him a... What was he now? A savant. I had no idea such a thing existed. Huh. Well, enchantment says he do. He can fold lyrium into almost any weapon or piece of armor. Though naturally, some of the more extravagant materials will take more lyrium than others. It's a process that some of the master smiths back in Orzammar will perform. But my boy here is just as adept at it. Isn't that right, boy? Enchantment! And there you have it. All right, well, farewell. Yeah, that's that's about it. Um. Yeah, you get you can get you can enchant your weapons and armor to do stuff. 
First, we're gonna we're gonna get some Morgan D. What do you wish of me? I'd like to ask you something. If you must. Uh, hmm. But -da 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 -da. did you grow up in the Korkari Wilds? Why do you ask me such questions? I do not probe you for pointless information, you could. do I? You can probe me anytime. Mm. Beg pardon then, while I jump for joy. Good. What is it you asked if I grew up in the wilds? A curious question. Where else would you picture me? For many years, it I don't was know. simply Flemeth and I. A dungeon. The wilds and its creatures were more real to me than Flemeth's tales of the world of man. In time, I grew curious. I left the wilds to explore what lay beyond, never for long. Brief forays into a civilized wilderness. And you remained unnoticed? For the most part. Flemeth taught me well. For all that I had been taught, however, the truth of the civilized lands proved to be overwhelming. I was unfamiliar with so much. So confident and bold was I, yet there was much that Flemeth could never have prepared me for. Hmm. Very daring. That sounds like you. <laughs> oh yeah, see, I'm smooth. Foolhardy, perhaps. Getting that D. Once Getting that I V card. Of being a witch of the wilds, and that by a chastened who happened to be traveling with a merchant caravan. He pointed and gasped and began shouting in his strange language. And most assumed he was casting some curse upon me. I, I wish. A terrified girl, and naturally he was arrested. That was quick thinking. Men are always willing to believe two things about a woman: one, that she is weak, and two, that she finds him attractive. I played the weakling and battered my eyelashes at the captain of the guard. <laughs> Child's play. The point being that I was able to move through human lands fairly easily. Whatever humans think a witch of the wild looks like, tis not I. Not that I did not have trouble. There are things about human society which have always puzzled me, such as the touching. Why all the touching for a simple greeting? Uh... Touching, like a handshake? To begin with, yes. What is the point of touching my hand? I find it an offensive intrusion. There were many well, nuances. Well, I can like the D when I intrude your uh, when to look punani, eyes. if you will. How to eat at a table. How to bargain without offending. None of these things I knew. I noticed. I still do not understand it all, truth be told. But then I gave up long ago any hope of doing so. When I returned to the wilds last, I swore to Flemeth that I had no intention of leaving again. Yeah, here you are. Yes, here I am. Well, let's get on with it before the ground opens up and swallows us, yes? Yes. Alright. Yes? We're gonna probe Morgan some more. Alright, I'd like to ask you some. Oh, wait, here we go. So life in the wilds must be very lonely. At times, perhaps. A world full of people and buildings and things was all very foreign to me. If I wished companionship, I ran with the wolves and flew with the birds. If I spoke was to the trees. And that seemed normal to you? What did I have to compare it with? In time, I began to wonder, of course. I recall the first time I crept beyond the edge of the wilds. I did so in animal form, remaining in the shadows and watching these strange townsfolk from afar. I happened upon a noblewoman by her carriage, adorned in sparkling garments, the likes Ooh. of which I had never before ah. seen. I was dazzled. This, to me, seemed what true wealth and beauty must be. I snuck up behind her and stole a hand mirror from the carriage. It was encrusted in gold and crystalline gemstones and I hugged it to my chest with delight as I sped back to the wilds. I can't imagine Flemeth was pleased. She was not. Flemeth was furious with me. I was a child and had not yet come into my full power, and I had risked discovery for the sake of a pretty bauble. To teach me a lesson, Flemeth took the mirror and smashed it upon the ground. Good. I was heartbroken. Oh, how sad. I have a hard time picturing you uh, heartbroken. That is because I learned my lesson well. Beauty and love Apparently. are fleeting and have no meaning. Survival has meaning. Power has meaning. Without those lessons, I would not be That's here depressing. today. As difficult as they might have been. But you don't need to live that way any longer. Do I not? I am still an apostate mage, even if I have left the wilds. The Darkspawn are yet undefeated. No, there is much that remains. 
To return to your original question, perhaps my time in the wilds was indeed lonely, but such was how it had to be. I find myself at times wondering what might have become of the girl with the beautiful golden mirror. But Morgan talks a lot. Have no place like reality. a lot, a lot. Disapproves? Yes. Hmm, hold on. We're in camp, Let's see here. So, tis as good a time as any. Booty, 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 booty. Booty, booty. I desire. Well, oh, desire. I fucked up. Humor me. Oh, it's humor you desire. Hmm? I didn't realize comedy had anything to do with this. Only if we do it wrong. How true. AKA accidentally put it in your butt. Let us do it right then. Okay. Huh? Foxer. Oh yeah, that's pretty much what I was trying to do at this point. Because she's going to be the romance option for this playthrough. And every playthrough I do with this game. Alright. One last thing before I end this part is I'm going to talk to Levi. You're a hard man to find. Where are my manners? The name is Levy. Levy Dryden. Did Duncan ever mention me? Levy of the coins? Levy the trader? I'm Patty. I've never heard of you. Really? He never told you of old Levy? We've known each other for years. But here I am carrying on while you have a blight to stop. Don't want to waste your time. I see. But you see, Duncan promised that together we'd look into something important for the wardens. And for me. But poor Duncan's. Well, no more. A tragedy it is, at that. But I know he would want his work carried on. His pledge oh, fulfilled. Yeah? I agree. Right, well, what promise did he make to you? Well, as you know, my family's name is Mud around noble circles. My great-great-grandmother, Sophia Dryden, was the last warden commander of Ferelden back when the wardens were known as freeloaders. So King Olin banished the wardens, and he took House Dryden's land and titles. Alright, well, uh, eh, alright, just tell me what, you, what I need to know. I don't Duncan care. wanted to reclaim the old Grey Warden base, Soldier's Peak, and perhaps we'll uncover evidence to restore my family's honor along the way. Nobody's been to Soldier's Peak since the Grey Wardens were banished, but I found a way. They say it's haunted, and it's certainly dangerous. Will you help me? <laughs> Your family's faith will be rewarded. I will help you. A thousand blessings upon you, Warden. I'll mark down the location on your map. When you arrive, we'll pick our way through the tunnels together. Okay. Yeah, alright, so that's actually DLC. Um, but that will be where we are heading next. In the next part of Dragon Age Origins. Until then, I'll see you guys next time. What a fortress. What a, a fortress. fortress. Alright, just admit it, you were lost a couple of times. Follow your mouth from a distance. This place has the stench of death.